Hello, and welcome to your Daily Five. I'm Greg Harmon, President and Founder of Dragonfly Capital Management. At Dragonfly Capital Management, uh, we give uh, portfolios for those that uh, want uh, me to manage their money for them uh, in separately managed accounts using technical analysis and options strategies. And for those that want to manage their own money, uh, we also sell a, a newsletter that uh, gives ideas uh, for uh, trades to, to take on during the week using those same uh, techniques, as well as uh, market analysis and uh, ideas and thoughts about uh, daily trades as well. You can find out more at dragonflycap.com. Today, I thought we would revisit the FANG stocks or the FANG mug stocks, given that uh, last week we saw a major turnaround in the marketplace, uh, especially in the, the tech sector, uh, is it time to look at getting back into them? So let's take a look at these fanning stocks today. First one, Meta Platforms. Uh, you'll note to hear that uh, these are all weekly charts. And I'm taking a look and focusing on the move from uh, the uh, pandemic low in uh, March 2020 up to the tops that were uh, happening last year. So uh, for Meta Platforms, formerly Facebook, that top was in... September of last year, uh, and then it pulled back substantially. Uh, you can see the, 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 the sharp hit to uh, the price uh, following uh, their earnings report. Uh, and then a bottom out uh, last week at uh, a retracement of 78.6% uh, of the full move higher. 78.6%, uh, a Fibonacci retracement number, uh, I forget which one exactly it is. It's like one over the square root of 0.618 or something like that. Uh, but it's a, an, an area where we do see a lot of charts turn around and uh, you see the strong move higher uh, through the end of last week. Uh, and closing at the high of the day almost within, within 50, 30 cents of the, the high of the day. This one also sees momentum turning around. We see the RSI coming from out of uh, overbought or sorry, oversold and uh, moving back into uh, you know, what was known as the, uh, the bearish range, but uh, moving back higher. Um, it's a good sign. If we take a look at the broader pattern though, we've got the, the RSI here making a lower low against the, the pandemic low with the price making a higher low. This is uh, what we look for in a pattern called uh, a positive RSI reversal. And long-term, this would indicate uh, a move back higher uh, in the stock, equivalent to the move from the pandemic low to the top, but off of this higher base of, uh, of 190. So, you know, what's that, roughly $50 higher? So, uh, looking for a move up to about uh, $435. Uh, so, long term, this is looking good. Today, we're seeing some, uh, some profit taking. So, uh, a more patient view on this. Apple didn't have nearly the, uh, the same uh, um, pullback from its high. You can see that uh, the move in Apple up to uh, the peak at the end of the year uh, has not even retraced 38.2% of, uh, of, of the full move up of, of, of the uh, pandemic low. Um, we do see momentum starting to shift again. And uh, we do see uh, the move back over the midline here. Uh, the MACD uh, looking to level here in positive territory is a good sign. And we see the Bollinger Bands starting to squeeze. Usually when we see the Bollinger Bands squeeze in, we get a move. Uh, we've got one move here where the Bollinger Bands squeezed and uh, it shot up. And when we uh, see that uh, the price is hitting down here at the bottom of the Bollinger Bands, uh, it's a, a, a possibility that we've got uh, the, the signs of a reversal moving here. Uh, obviously, not at, at this point, at this point uh, from a longer term perspective, uh, you'd like it a lot better when it makes new highs, uh, but uh, still in a pretty good territory. If you're holding the stock, it seems like it's one to continue to hold. Next is Amazon. Amazon as well uh, had uh, kind of a, uh, a slow churn once it uh, made its initial pop. Uh, got to a double, made a double top here uh, as it pulled back and uh, retraced uh, about 50% of uh, the move higher. Uh, now back over 38% and climbing. 
well over the 20 week moving average and approaching, or sorry, at the 20 week moving average and uh, uh, over the 10 week moving average or equivalent to the 50 day moving average. Uh, and with momentum moving back uh, over the midline. We've got uh, the MACD turning back up here too, ready for uh, a cross at, at uh, a pretty soon moment. Um, this is this is one that uh, you uh, look like you can get into now uh, with a, a move over 3250. Netflix, very similar chart to what we saw in uh, Facebook or Meta platforms with uh, the move uh, culminating uh, a little bit later in the year, back out in uh, November timeframe and um, pulling back 78.6% of, uh, of the rise from the pandemic low. Uh, again, we've got um, momentum starting to move out of oversold. Uh, the same case that we had in uh, Meta where we've got a lower low in momentum in the RSI with a uh, higher low in the uh, price. Uh, so a, a possibility of a positive RSI reversal here on continuation with, uh, in this case, uh, a move uh, about 100 points higher than the previous. This would uh, indicate a move up to, to about 805 uh, if we were to continue to move back higher over the 10-week the moving average. Next is Microsoft. Microsoft, uh, similar to Amazon and uh, I guess more similar to Apple, uh, with uh, the peak uh, around in November, pullback not quite to 38.2% of the move. A uh, little bit more at risk, I'd say, at this point, with the Bollinger Band still open and uh, to the downside, uh, and momentum, however, uh, starting to diverge to the upside is a good sign. We've got um, the MACD here uh, also leveling off in negative territory. Uh, if we were to see this turn, right, turn back around and move to positive, uh, that would be an indication that uh, perhaps we have found a bottom in uh, Microsoft as well. And then the last one, Alphabet, or for the G that we use, formerly Google, uh, with a, a strong move up to uh, a, a top uh, that uh, happened uh, in January, uh, and finding support well above the 38.2% uh, retracement of the range. You also see that momentum is held well above uh, the oversold area, where that has not been the case in others. Uh, in fact, uh, from my perspective, staying over 40 remains in a bullish range. This is what you would call more of a, a healthy digestive uh, pullback. Uh, momentum did reset uh, on the MACD down into the negative territory, but barely so. Uh, this is the strongest, the strongest of the FANG stocks. If you had uh, to pick just one to be involved with, this looks like the one to be involved with. So that's a quick view of the FANG stock arena. Um, with the tech revival last week, uh, things are starting to uh, look a, a lot brighter uh, in the mega cap space. Uh, those that uh, are of the uh, most uh, important uh, view uh, in terms of uh, looking for new opportunities, most likely to be Facebook and uh, um, Netflix as the, they had uh, reset so much lower and are now rebounding quickly. Uh, and then if you're a more conservative investor uh, looking for more longer term, uh, stick with the Googles, i.e. alphabets. That's my daily five. Thanks for watching. Hey guys, Dave Keller here with stockcharts.com. Thanks so much for watching our video. If you enjoyed it, and we hope you did, hit the like button right below. Also, we have so much new content every day. Consider subscribing to the channel. Just hit the subscribe button in the video or right below. Thanks for watching. Stay safe. Have a fantastic day.